Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube Medium and Daniel Tech. Very, very quick video. I'm just making these as I do my various backups. Uh, this is one that I put in the category of uh, very, very unlikely to be required backups, cloud service backups, SaaS backups. I've been doing some work on my Git repository and a couple of Git repositories. It occurred to me there's probably been a couple of um, a couple of uh, months since I since I ran this, so I'm just gonna, as a best practice, uh, quickly run this. So, what I'm just gonna do is I have all my GitHub repositories cloned here on my local. Just gonna go for a select all. Now, this is GitHub does have a data export functionality. It interestingly doesn't give you um, all your repositories. Another interesting thing to point out is there's a few things left out. For example, wikis are actually their own repository. And if you have project files, so this is just going to get your repositories. In that sense, I guess you could say that it's uh, imperfect, but it's a uh, it's very quick and uh, just for a cloud backup, there probably is never going to be required. Um, I think it's better. It's you know it's not it's it's almost not worth going through the full data export process each time. So uh, I'm just using the GUI over here, and I'm just going to compress these into a. Uh, an archive which I'll put on my desktop initially and I just call it github tar.gz is a is the compression format being used here um, append today's date at the end of it github repos uh, 190620.tar.gz and uh, let that just uh, compress onto the desktop it'll just take a second to run Currently running, you can see I've got about 3,000 files spread across my repositories. Uh, I'm sure p there are people with a lot more. It just takes a few seconds. And that's basically it. I'm now going to drop this into, this is a folder on my NAS um, that syncs up. Uh, this is automatically configured to sync up to a B2 bucket, back Backblaze B2 storage. So it syncs up to the cloud. I'm just going to pop this in. Um, it's a little bit slow, so I'll uh, I'll pause and unstart the video. You can see this was done. This is done in June, uh, June twentieth. Let's say let's add a date. The date, um, and the last one I took was in May. So it's basically been a month since I've done this. So I think that's probably you know you don't need to do it too often. But if you are actively developing a couple of repositories and you want a really simple way uh, just to keep your own backups, I think this is a pretty straightforward way. And uh, as soon as this is finished copying onto the NAS. Um, it's gonna go straight up to the cloud and that'll give me two copies as the 321 backup rule which I'm always advocating uh, requires. Thanks for watching.